In this video, we will study the operating pressures of the refrigerant gas R134A in a household freezer, the parts of the equipment, and its operation. On the screen, we observe the refrigeration circuit of a household freezer that operates with refrigerant gas R134A. The R134A refrigerant enters the evaporator in a liquid state at a pressure of 4.7 pounds per square inch. With this pressure, it is achieved that the R134A in the evaporator has a temperature of minus 20 degrees Celsius. With this low temperature, and with the help of the fan, the heat from the food quickly passes to the R134A refrigerant, causing it to evaporate. As the refrigerant absorbs the heat from the food, they cool down, allowing for preservation. The heat from the food goes to the R134A refrigerant in the evaporator, causing the refrigerant to change from a liquid to a gaseous state. The R134A, now in a gaseous state and with a slight temperature increase called superheating, is suctioned by the compressor. For this case, let's assume that the temperature of the R134A refrigerant in a gaseous state is minus 15 degrees Celsius. This means that the R134A refrigerant goes from minus 20 degrees Celsius to minus 15 degrees Celsius, so in this equipment, the superheating is 5 degrees Celsius. Although the temperature has a slight change, we can approximate, and say that the pressure of the R134A at the evaporator outlet is practically the same, still 4.7 pounds per square inch. The R134A, now in a vapor state, heads to the compressor through the suction pipe, which we can identify as the thickest pipe of the compressor. The pressure and temperature of the refrigerant increase significantly in the compressor. The pressure of the R134A at the compressor outlet reaches a value close to 150 pounds per square inch. The temperature of the R134A at the compressor outlet can be around 60 degrees Celsius. In the condenser, the refrigerant must lose the heat absorbed from the food and the energy absorbed in the compressor. This heat must be expelled in the condenser into the environment. This heat dissipation process is favored by the high pressure that the R134A refrigerant gained in the compressor. As the R134A refrigerant loses heat in the condenser, it changes from a gaseous state to a liquid state. The pressure of the R134A refrigerant in the condenser remains at 150 pounds per square inch, but the R134A decreases its temperature considerably. This decrease in temperature of the R134A in the condenser allows the refrigerant to transition from a vapor state to a liquid state. The R134A, now in a liquid state, and at a temperature close to the ambient, exits the condenser and heads to the capillary tube to restart the cycle. In the capillary, the pressure and temperature of the refrigerant decrease significantly, so it returns to the initial pressure of 4.7 pounds per square inch and minus 20 degrees Celsius, restarting the refrigeration cycle. 